it's Ginny and little guy. Long time no see. Um, I was thinking, I was trying to think the, the other day what would have been helpful for me as a new mom with a new baby. Um, because my experience in trying to eat healthy with a new baby was that it was impossible. Um, and so I kind of thought it would be useful for others if I did kind of a lessons learned video. Um, so if you have a new baby or you're about to have a new baby and you've had weight loss surgery and you want to know how the heck you're going to keep eating healthy when you're exhausted 24 seven, keep watching. <laughs> okay. So, um, let me just, I've got some notes here, so forgive me if I'm looking at them. All right. So in the early days when your little baby is small, do what you have to do. Um, for me, I had really serious cravings for sweets and carbs the entire time I was pregnant. I couldn't eat solid protein really except for seafood and other really soft things like that. Couldn't eat chicken, couldn't eat beef, couldn't eat pork, uh, could hardly eat anything. So it was a lot of seafood and a lot of yogurt uh, that kept me going while I was pregnant. And after I had the baby, while I could eat solid protein, my body was still craving all those things and I thought it was because I had been eating them and I'm sure that was part of it as well. But um, I found out later that there's also a huge amount of, um, of hormonal cravings as well. Um, and your body actually, when you're physically exhausted, um, makes you crave carbs and sweets uh, for that really quick burst of energy. So I had this, the sleep deprivation working against me, and you will too, or you already do. Um, and I had the hormones working against me as well. So I, um, I really struggled with it, like I said, pregnancy shortly after birth, and he is almost seven months. And I stopped breastfeeding recently. I highly recommend um, following you know, World Health Organization guidelines if you're able and breastfeeding until they're two. I wish I could have done that with this guy. Um, unfortunately, my supply just was not there for that. Um, so I had to stop, which I was very disappointed about and really struggled with. But anyway, so I stopped breastfeeding him and it was like a switch had been flipped. My craving stopped. <laughs> he keeps pushing the table with the camera, sorry, with his little foot. <gasps> little baby foot. Um, 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 um. Yeah, I know, no, 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 you're so cute. Um, so yeah, it was like a switch had been flipped, basically. Um, and the cravings have turned off. Um, I'm not saying I never want sweets or I never want carbs, but it's not. It really let me know how little control I had over those cravings. I love this little smile. Who's that on the screen? Is that you? Is that you? Yeah. Um, he loves looking at me and himself in the mirror, so maybe he's uh, he's looking at the video right now. So, is that kind of the same thing? Yeah, are you cute? Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So I, I, it really makes me feel better because it wasn't me. It wasn't lack of lack of willpower. It was a physical, like a physiological thing. So. What do you do when you're going through that and you can't see the other side? Um, you don't know when you're going to stop breastfeeding. You don't know when he's going to sleep through the night. This guy isn't yet. He's still waking up for at least one feet at night. Yeah. But at least he goes right back down. Um, so, um, yeah, wh what do you do? So here's what I did, and um, maybe it's something you can try too. So my suggestion is... In the early days, when they're first home, do what you have to do and don't feel guilty about it. Um, there will come a day, like I said, when you're getting slightly more sleep and you're slightly more functional. Hold out for that, but do what you can now. Um, so essentially, if the only thing you can th like think about eating right now is carbs and sweets, eat what your body is telling you to eat, um, but try to incorporate protein on top of it. So like if you're having a craving for a croissant and you you just absolutely can't think about anything else, sorry, my husband's leaving to go pick something up, um, have the croissant, but also eat the yogurt. Like I found a high protein, low carb yogurt and I ate a lot of that. Um, yogurt saved me. Yes, sir. Yogurt saved me. Um, 
pre-made protein shake saved me combining protein shakes with my um, with with my um, my coffee that helped me um, so let's see uh, so do what you can oh and um, rolled up cold cuts those are easy and fast and um, I know there's some oh <laughs> thank you buddy good job I know there's some debate on whether you should eat some cold cuts uh, when you're pregnant and listen to your doctor and your own self on that. But once you're breastfeeding, I think it's typically supposed to be okay. Um, I definitely ate cold cuts, rolled up cold cuts and cheese, and that helped as well. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and when you make the coffee, um, either uh, just because you're drinking four cups of coffee a day to try to get through the day, or because you're combining it with a protein shake, look for high protein milk where you live. Um, I know that even here um, in Australia, we have a high protein milk. Um, and there are other, like in, 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 in the US, you have even more options. So um, add that protein in where you can, any extra protein. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, um, crudite platters. Um, so if you have, if your grocery store already has, like pre-cut veggies, snap up some of that. Um, that'll give you something to, to munch on uh, really easily when you're when you're hungry. Um, in the states, in the states, they have low-carb frozen dinners. Um, take advantage of that. Um, I wish that we had those here um, for the Aussies, like in the deli section. <gasps> Did you? <laughs> in the deli section. Um, there's usually some prepackaged dinners and things. Um, you can't, <laughs> they're, uh, they're like refrigerated, not frozen. Um, some of those are reasonably low carb. Like there's uh, ones that are like Mexican shredded chicken or whatever. Um, you can also get some of that in the <laughs> meat section of the store. Um, like Mexican shredded chicken, like pre-sliced chicken, um, like pre-cooked prawns or shrimp. Anything like that, anything, so basically, um, anything you can handle that's super easy like that um, when you're first, like, when you're first dealing with a tiny baby, do it. Like, if you can afford to take shortcuts like that, do it. And then once you're slightly more functional, once you're getting a little more sleep, but you still barely have time due to this, uh, <laughs> due to this, Due to a little guy or girl who won't let you um, let, won't let you cook at all because you've got to be holding on to them or playing with them or what have you. Um, yeah, such a sacrifice having to play with this guy. Oh. Um, then my suggestions once you have once you're a little more capable of that is again take shortcuts where you can get the pre cooked the pre uh, the pre cut up veggies um, get the um, uh, use uh, recipes for like four ingredient slow cooker meals. If you're low carb, that can be harder. Um, if you're just eating low like glycemic index, that's a little easier to come by. Um, if you're not already following me on Pinterest, um, pinterest.com slash, I think it's users, hang on. Sorry, just checking. Uh, So, sorry, bear with me. So, Pinterest.com slash low carb lovin, L O V I N, no, no G on the end. That's my username. Uh, what are you doing? You're hilarious. You're going to be the most entertaining part of this video. It's not me anymore. Um, so, yeah, Pinterest.com slash low carb lovin, that will bring you to my page. And I have boards now. I have a board that I specifically created. That is called, let me find exactly what it's called. Easy Slow Cooker Recipes for New Mamas. Um, and I have, there are two sections to that board. One is strictly low carb um, slow cooker recipes and the other is low GI but not low carb. Um, and, but the low GI, the, the carbs in those recipes are from veggies. Uh, <laughs> primarily from veggies, squash and things like that. Um, so 
there are still reasonable choices too, depending on what, what your macros are, what your goals are. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? Um, so, yeah, so what I started doing was I would find like a four ingredient slow cooker recipe, something really easy. And I would literally just dump everything in the slow cooker in the 20 minutes in the morning that he gives me when he first gets up. Like, I, I get up, I change him, I feed him, and he'll usually give me 20 minutes or so where he'll play by himself. So, even 10 minutes. Um, so, if you can get that, use that time, throw stuff in a slow cooker, and then you've got family meals for um, you and your spouse or partner. Uh, for at least a couple of days. Um, so that works really well for us. Um, so even if you usually prefer never to eat out of packages or whatever, take whatever shortcuts you need to right now because you have to. Um, you have to try to get in some healthy food. So you're, you're in survival mode right now, so it's okay to eat slightly differently, and you will get back to eating all the usual things that you eat. Don't worry, it will happen. Um, so, uh, so, some ideas, pre-made salads. I, um, I've been buying pre-made salads and then pre-done proteins. Um, so like, uh, pre-shredded chicken, like pre-cut cheese, things like that. I'll throw some cheese, throw in some chicken, um, slice up an avocado really quickly, um, throw some of that in there, um, hard boil a bunch of eggs at one time. So throw a hard boiled egg in there. And I've got a salad with a bunch of different kinds of protein. Um, so that's been really helpful. Um, and let's see. Um, go, to the, to go to the meat section of your store. You can often find pre-marinated or pre-flavored meats. You can just throw in the oven or the roasting pan or the crock pot or whatever um, and throw some frozen veggies in there with it and you've got a complete meal. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Our local stores also have pre-spiralized veggies. Um, I can only occasionally find zucchini noodles, which I prefer because they're so like like bland that they just absorb whatever flavor. Um, but yeah, so um, but I can also find pre-spiralized like sweet, <laughs> <laughs> sweet potato noodles, um, things like that, pre-riced cauliflower. Pick up some of that. Um, take advantage. Um, I got some spiralized <laughs> sweet potato this week, and I threw some jarred pasta sauce with meat in it on top of it and some pre-shredded cheese on it and heated it up, and I had myself a really quick lunch in like a minute and a half. Um, well, actually, it was more like three minutes because you have to cook the spiralized noodles first, but yeah. Um, so that can be really helpful. Uh, Pre-rice cauliflower, you can quickly stir-fry with some... Uh, you can get tubes of pre-minced ginger and garlic or jars of it, um, pre-diced onions, pre-cooked shrimp, uh, frozen veggies. <laughs> Throw that in a, a wok with some soy sauce and some rice vinegar and some sesame oil, and you've got some fried rice with cauliflower. Um, and let's see. Um, basically, look on Pinterest and then modify whatever recipe you're interested in using, like, but look for simple recipes um, and look for things you can substitute that are time-saving and pre-done. Um, and if you have this option, assign your partner <laughs> baby watching duty, ask him or her really nicely while you food prep as much as you can for the week um, in advance. That's, um, that's also really helpful too. And basically, the easier you can make it on yourself to grab something healthy, the more likely you are to do it. Um, and then when it comes to exercise, um, for me, I was able to take the baby on a walk in the afternoon. It not only helps stave off, um, you know, severe like postnatal de de depression because I had something to get out of the house for every day. Um, but, oh, oh, yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. But it was also really good exercise for me. And it's really good for him. <laughs> You're such good entertainment value, buddy. Um, and it's really good for him getting to see the world, getting outside, doing different things, seeing different people. So, um, and I know that there are some people who are amazing and incorporate their babies into like, oh, don't eat my Fitbit, <laughs> into strength training at home and that kind of thing, like use them for weights. 
You would make a good weight now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> boink. Boink. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You see mommy on there, don't you? Yeah. But um, anyway, so basically, let me just summarize because I just spent 15 minutes trying to say all this. Don't feel guilty. Do what you have to do, especially early on. Um, you will get back to feeling like a normal person. Um, um, yeah, shortcuts where you can, pre-done things, Pinterest recipes, slow cooker. Um, and if you have any questions or any suggestions or um, if you see a recipe on Pinterest that you're like, okay, how can I do this um, in Australia? Because this is an American recipe and these are American ingredients. Hit me up. I can help you. <laughs> I've learned to kind of translate. Um, spaghetti squash, as they call it in the U.S. It's often called vegetable squash here. Um, really good low-carb um, um, option. Uh, to use for throwing sauce over, like pretend it's noodles basically because it acts like noodles. Um, and I have like a couple of um, low carb slow cooker recipes using that and that's about to come into season in Australia but there's only a, a select number of places where you can really find it so um, I'll post a link to where you can find that below for you Aussies um, and if you have any questions or if you want any more tips just let me know but um, otherwise it's been really great saying hi to you guys and wave goodbye buddy say bye Oh, I forgot to tell you, um, I'm back down to within three pounds of my goal weight again. So, um, yeah, like I said, it gets better. All right, see you guys later. Bye.